He's late again, Jimmy. I suppose he stopped off at the service station again with the car, as usual. Oh, Mom, I'm hungry. You know that car will get him home all right. Just the pops that are crummy. Well, he's just not a very good driver, that's all. Guess you're right, Jimmy. I never did hear anyone call him Barney Oldfield Jones. He certainly ought to be here before very long. Listen. The head of the family has arrived. Yes, sir. That's my pop. Jimmy, drive in, dear. You see, the transmission... You don't need to explain again, Oliver. You hit that big chuck hole in the driveway where it comes close to the house, the car bounced, you went into second gear, and the side of the car just missed the breakfast. Yeah, that's about it. You know, I've been thinking... Oh, well. Let's eat. Listen, Oliver. Must we go along all our lives owning a car that's just good enough to get by? That's just, well, a plain, bare automobile? That car rocks and leaps and jumps on every little hole or bump because it's so short. And another thing. That hand shift is so old-fashioned, and the car simply doesn't drive decently. Oliver, what we need in our car is a... Oh, what do you call it? An integrated powertrain. Hey, Mom, where'd you get hip to that kind of talk? That's what the man said this afternoon. What man? The man, the salesman from the Pontiac dealer. He called, and I let him come over. You let him come over. I never heard of anything so silly. You of all people, Mom, know that we simply cannot afford anything but... But, Pop, we don't buy the lowest price of everything we get. Who said anything of... Say, are you in on this, too? I mean, look at that lawnmower you use. That's no Armstrong job. It's got a motor. On our TV set, the screen's 20 inches. And the washing machine, it's automatic. We all decided they were worth the difference in price. And this steak you bought, dear. You know very well that's no pop roast. And remember the last time you wore your dinner jacket, how you tried to save money by buying the very cheapest so-called patent leather type shoes? And they turned out to be oilcloth? Go on. Oliver, even beside the money part of it, there's the, oh, I don't know how to say it, the matter of pride, I guess it is. I've been noticing the neighbor's cars. Look at the Smiths. With all their money, they can own any car they want, and they love their Pontiac. Mm -hmm. Other people seem to be able to progress, to keep stepping up a little as they get older. That's a very important thing to a family, Oliver. That Pontiac salesman certainly gave you the full treatment, didn't he? Pass the cream. If you'll promise not to curdle it. This is milk in this coffee, isn't it? You've never served milk before, and... But, Oliver, that's the very, very cheapest thing to put in coffee, you know. Okay, Mom. We're the Joneses. Let them keep up with us. Now, just when did you make the date for us to see the new Pontiac? The car with the integrated powertrain made up of uh, high compression engine, dual range hydromatic drive, and uh, high performance economy axle. The car with the power you want, when you want it, where you want it. Say, how do you know so much about the Pontiac? <laughs> oh, I read and I listen. I like to keep up to date, too. I made the date at the sales room for late tomorrow afternoon, dear. Miss 
This is Joan. It's nice of you to come in. Oliver, I want you to meet Mr. Wright. This is my husband. How do you do, Mr. Jones? And Jimmy, how are you? Hi, Mr. Wright. Well, there's the car I told you about. Just take a look at it from here for a minute. Do you like it? Yeah, it's sure smooth. That car's got scat, even when it's standing still. Looks like it's going to take off. Jimmy, I want to explain one thing right now. The Pontiac is designed and built to run on the ground, to run well, and to hug the ground so it rides nice and smooth, even on rough and rugged roads. What? No jet power? No skyrocket takeoff? No stratospheric zoom? Power and zoom, yes, Jimmy. But this car isn't for the wild blue yonder. We think of this car as a good, solid automotive citizen. A fine up-to-the-minute car with such flashing performance... Say, before we talk about this car, I want to know how much you're going to allow us on our old one. I'm going to give you that figure, Mr. Jones. But before you make any decision, you'll need to know all you can about the value you're getting in the new car. Isn't that so? Makes good sense. Uh, what about accessories? Do we have to take a lot of the... Mr. Jones with a Pontiac, you buy only the accessories you want. Now, this is a duotone of Mayflower and Potomac Blues. You have a choice of nine solid colors or three other duotones you know. How do you like the car's looks, Mrs. Jones? Oh, it's beautiful. The most beautiful thing on wheels, it's been called. That means your Pontiac will stand out among all other cars. You'll have a car you can take real pride in. Now, to give you just a few of the features, notice the little styling touches that help make the Pontiac so different from other cars. For instance, the hood ornament, the ultra-modern upper center bar, and the colorful nameplate, the smart new wheel disc, the twin stream side moldings, and the good-looking trunk door handle and nameplate. I see you still have the silver streak there. Yes, and that's the most distinctive in the industry, Mr. Jones. You can always tell a Pontiac, coming or going. While we're here, I want you to see how the trunk lid practically lifts itself. Excuse me, please. Would you like to try it, Mrs. Jones? Look at the room you have in this carry-all luggage compartment and the way the spare tire is placed so it's convenient to get at. Now, let's look at the interior. Get right in here, Mrs. Jones, and see for yourself how roomy and soft and comfortable these seats are. Mr. Jones, would you like to get in here? Notice the extra wide doors and Man, the... these lines are really dry lake, Pop. And that goes for street, strip, or drag. Why, with this, we wouldn't even have to chop the top or channel it. Wouldn't have to what? Oh, I think Jimmy's just given us the hot rod okay, Mr. Jones. He means the lines of the car are plenty smooth without having to lower the top with a hacksaw or make it narrower. And see how smart and modern the styling is, even down to the last little detail. What do you think of it so far? Just Looks wonderful. Looks pretty good to me. You have your personal choice of fine quality tritone check pattern trim materials to go with the car color you select. They're not only luxurious and long wearing, they're extra soft, so they're safe. You said yesterday, Mrs. Jones, that you take your sister's little boy out for rides in the car. Well, this entire car is designed to keep you and yours safe and well protected. For one thing, a simple adjustment on the door lock fixes it so that when the button is down, the kids can't open the door. That's it. Another thing is that you can see out better in every direction with the exceptionally wide windshield, side, and rear window. Now, this is the famous Body by Fisher. Just a moment and I'll show you. It's 
extra safe because you can see here, it's solid steel, ribbed, welded, and braced into a single strong structural unit. Listen to this. You can tell there's real quality and safety there just by the sound. While I have this here, I want to show you our twin duct ventilation system. You'll see it's built right in, not added on. You can drive even in heavy rain or snow with all windows closed and still get plenty of fresh air. Now I want to tell you about the big performance feature that gives you two important things, greater economy and at the same time more power. We call this big Pontiac feature dual range performance with integrated powertrain. And it's made up of high compression engine, the new dual range hydromatic transmission, based on engineering principles proved by more miles of driving than all other automatic transmissions combined, and the new high performance economy axle. Each of these powertrain units is specially designed to work with the other to give you the power you want, when you want it, where you want it. And what's more, every Pontiac is built to last 100,000 miles. That means dependability. What I've been showing you is the new dual range hydromatic Pontiac. You can have the synchro mesh manual gear shift if you want. And in any case, you have your choice of two power pack silver streak engines, the straight eight or the six. But whatever you choose, when it comes to brilliant performance at low cost, Pontiac's right on top. That's because the power and the economy are built right in. Just what is this new dual-range hydromatic drive? It really means that you can have a car with two different kinds of power, and that you can always use the best power from each to fit driving conditions. Like having two different engines, you mean? Yes, in a way. And you can use the most efficient power from either one for driving in the city or on the highway. In traffic, you want quick response and flexibility, so you use this position. For cruising in the country, you do this. You've still got flashy pickup, but the engine's taking it easier. You get a quieter ride, even more gas mileage, and there's less wear. That's dual range. And of course, there's no clutch at all. You know how tired you can get driving in traffic lineups. Here, you just step on the gas, steer and stop, and dual range hydromatic automatically does the right thing, even to starting on slippery paving. But you really have to drive it to see all its advantages. My Catalina's out here. If you want, we can take a demonstration ride, and you can test drive it yourself. I'd love to. OK. Let's go. Man, oh, man, these Pontiac engineers really dig for go, don't they? With this, I could prune anything at a green light. <laughs> Yes, the Joneses are learning, each with his own wants in mind, that it pays to step up to Pontiac's spectacular dual-range performance. Their friend salesman Wright has demonstrated the advantages of the high-compression engine. He's covered such outstanding features as the Scotch Mist manifold for more power from less fuel, the built-in permanent oil cleaner that never needs replacement or new filters, the downdraft triple Venturi carburetor with its great efficiency and economy. The Joneses learned the advantages of high compression engine and dual range hydromatic in hill climbing. How this drive makes much better use of engine braking on downgrade. They see how easy it is to rock the car in sand, snow, or mud. And how Pontiac dual servo brakes last longer and give smoother, safe stops because they are triple sealed to keep out water and dirt. They discover how Pontiac's long 120 inch wheelbase and its springs and hydraulic cushion levelators float the car over the roughest road and smooth out the deepest chuck holes, and how easy parking becomes even for Mom Jones with Pontiac's remarkable True Arc safety steering. Thank you very much, Mr. Wright. I'm only too glad to have this chance to show you how easy it is to step up from ordinary driving to a better kind of car ownership and enjoyment. 
Now, Mr. Jones, we can go over the allowance on your car and the other details if you'll step in here, please. Mr. Wright. Nice going. Now see if you can sell him on getting a big shiny snort pipe for the exhaust, eh? Just a minute, Jimmy. Well, it's sure good to know that Pop will be on time these days. Do you realize that he hasn't missed by a minute ever since we got the new Pontiac? That was quite a long time ago. I wonder what can be keeping him. Where do you suppose he could be? Oh, he'll be along, Mom. Maybe he's finally gone to see someone about fixing that chuck hole in the driveway. There he is now. Nothing to it now. Why, that dual range hydromatic will make even a good driver a better one. But Oliver, why are you so late? Listen, I think good news is worth waiting a few minutes for, isn't it? You know what? I stayed late and did a little figuring on the investment that we have in the car. And it worked out just the way I said it would in the first place. I knew all the time that dollar for dollar, you can't beat a Pontiac. Uh -huh.